Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It's been way too long and I hope you guys had a good Christmas. In this video we'll be looking at the Obby Checkpoints data saving variation. So basically this will allow you to touch a checkpoint, let's say I'm on stage number 2, then if I leave the game, join back, I should now be at stage number 2 where I left off. Perfect. Again, this will be a variation of a previous script that we've done in a previous video. The link for that will be in the description. I recommend watching that video before you um, look at this video because we'll just be editing the code from that video. The code for this uh, video will also be available on our Discord server. The link for that will be in the description as well. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe. Any, um, any support from that will be greatly appreciated. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so we're now in the same Roblox Studio world which we left off at the last Obby Checkpoints video. So again, I'd recommend watching that if you haven't already. If you haven't watched it, it's fine. Um, the checkpoints are still going to be in this folder in the workspace of so stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 here. And then obviously the main script that is, is, is what we're going to be editing from the last video. As I put in that script up, this is what we're going to edit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, at the top here, we're going to add the data store service. Now if you're saving XP um, for a different system, or levels, or stages for our case, you always have to use the data store service, because that's how Roblox save things. The next thing we do is we're going to get the Obby data store. So basically this is, a, this is our special data store that we're going to be using to save all the player's obby data. I'm just going to name it obby data store. Now the first thing we have to get is in this new player, so when the player joins we have to get, we have to go and see um, what the data is from the previous time they've been in the game to get their previous stage. Now we do this by using what is known as a get async function, however before we do that we're going to have to wrap it in something called a p call function. This is very, um, this is, we need this actually because these um, these data stores, they're very, let's say, they're very hit and miss, they're very temperamental. There's a solid chance that um, it will fail for some reason. Roblox servers might be down, you might be flooding it with API, re uh, API requests. There's loads of reasons. So all this does is say, if it errors, for whatever reason, it will not mess up your entire code. Uh, the next thing we need to do, so we've now got their data from the previous time they've been in the game, we then have to set their current stage to be that data, and we just do that by editing them. Two lines there. The next thing we have to do is to actually save the data, and then we have to do this in two ways. The first is when they leave the game. So we say again, we say local success equals p call function, so we wrap it in a p call function. And then we say all data store, and then we're assessing the data of the player's user ID. So you see, just give me a second. We say we're saving data to the player's user ID, and then we're getting data from the player's user ID. So that's how we get and save data. And all we're going to be saving is the current stage of the player, which is proceed by that. Alright, the next thing we have to do is um, let's say you're, you're in studio and you sh and you've just came out you know when you're in testing studio this little play thing here at the top you might notice that when you press stop it instantly comes out of studio like it, it, it comes out of the testing immediately now that's an issue for us because that means that the game doesn't have enough time to save the data in studio so what we have to use is a bind to close function now this is actually very useful um, basically when the game is going to shut down um, because the player has left the game or whatever. What it will do is run this it run this code here. So all we're saying in this code is get all the players in the game and save the data before the game shuts down. And then after we do that, we're going to wait an additional one second to make sure all the data has had a chance to be saved properly. Perfect. That's the end of the script, so if you just press apply edit and come out of it. 
make sure to publish your game and now we are ready to test okay so now we've done the script it's going to be as simple as pressing the play button at the top again as we've now added that bind to close function it should save in studio go to stage number two we then leave the game now you might notice it takes a little while for it to leave the game like an extra few seconds that's because it's doing its saving process and if you join straight in you'll notice that we're now on stage number two it works perfectly perfect thank you guys for watching i hope this video helps you um make sure to check out our other videos we've got a load of really helpful videos that i'm sure that you enjoy again the actual script to this video is available in our discord server link for that in the description and if you really if you really want to support the channel then make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye